Now, after learning the different types of interactions among living organisms, let us now proceed to Quarter 2, Module 7, The Effects of Interactions Among Organisms in Their Environment. At the end of this module, you should be able to infer the effects of interactions among organisms in their environment. Write an essay about beneficial and harmful effects of organisms' interactions. And last, make a poster to illustrate the harmful and beneficial effects of organisms' interactions. Okay, for our short review, answer the questions carefully. It is a type of interactions where both species benefits from the relationship. Is it commensalism or mutualism? Very good, mutualism. Next, it is a type of interaction when one organism benefits when the other is not harmed nor affected. Right, commensalism. For the last question, Parasitism and competition are types of blank interactions among living organisms. Beneficial or harmful? Excellent! Harmful! For activity number one, study the given features of interactions among living organisms and tell if it is good or bad to the environment. Okay, the first feature, fishes and coral reefs. Right, that is good to the environment because both species benefits from the relationship. Another one is butterfly and flower. Is this interaction good or bad to the environment? That's right, good. The flower provide food for the butterfly and the butterfly helps the flower pollinate. How about wood, fungus, and tree? Yes, that interaction is good to the environment. The fungus helps the plant extract nutrients and water from the soil. In return, the fungus receives food from the photosynthesizing plants. Orchids growing in a tree. The orchids make their own food and do not take anything from the tree. It gives beauty to the environment without harming the tree. How about hornworm on leaves? A worm eats the leaves of the plant until the leaves are consumed and the plant dies. This interaction is harmful to the environment. Other living things and the physical environment affect the lives of all organisms. By understanding how living things interact with each other and their environment, we can help preserve the treasure of nature. For activity number two, match the interaction given on column A with the affected environment on column B. In column A, we have mosquito in tires. Of course, the affected environment is letter C, humans and its body system. We know that mosquitoes can be a carrier of dengue fever viruses. This interaction is harmful. Number two, we have butterflies and bees. The affected environment, of course, are flowering plants. As the butterfly feeds on the nectar, the flower pollinates. No doubt, these interactions are beneficial. Okay, the next are fishes swim around the shark. The affected environments are sea and oceans. Pilot fish follow sharks because other animals which might eat them will not come near to a shark. In return, a shark do not eat pilot fish because pilot fish eats their parasites. This interaction is beneficial. They both benefit from the relationship. It is called mutualism. It is good to the environment. Animals like tiger and lion in number 4 and other different organisms compete for food space and territory when animals compete with each other they sometimes harm other animals this interaction is harmful and the affected environment is forest and safaris the last one is birds on its nest that's 
tree provides place for birds to nest and to live, while the tree is not affected. For activity number 3, list down organisms found at home and in the community that shows the given interactions. Identify the following effect of its interactions. Okay, for our last activity, write an essay or composition on your ISN about the picture below. Make sure to use the following words, beneficial, harmful, environment, ecosystem, and effect. Focus on the interactions among living organisms and its effects to the environment. That's all for today, kids. You may now answer the post-test. Enjoy learning!